The museum decided to do a Master of Arts in Teaching and in particular in science education because we face a national crisis in this country and it's very serious. This is the area that is probably the least well taught. Our teachers have been the least empowered about what science really is, what it means to be a scientist. They don't have as great an appreciation of the scientific method. This speaks towards a formalization of our role in education at all levels, whether it's training K through 12 teachers, whether it's graduate training of PhDs, we are engaged in enhancing the public appreciation of nature, the public understanding of science, and we really have a sense of how important this is in our country. The museum's research and education efforts have always reached for being relevant to the greatest numbers of people. And the nation is suffering from a great lack of qualified and highly experienced science teachers. We have a, a, a major research program in Earth Sciences and Astrophysics and Paleontology, which will be, of course, a, a huge benefit to the exposure and training of the teachers. It will engage candidates who have to come with an undergraduate degree in science, Earth Science, or related sciences like oceanography, environmental science, astrophysics. In a 15-month course of study, where they'll take academic courses at the museum, some of them online, many of them face-to-face, -face. but at the same time, they'll spend four days per week from September through June in a school in New York City or Yonkers or Long Island that we're partnering with to offer this program. The two summers that buttress the program, they'll be doing residencies here at the museum experiencing our youth initiative education programs as well as doing a science practicum with our curators in the Division of Physical Sciences. So these trainees are going to be working elbow to elbow with postdoctoral fellows and our tenured curators. We're trying to um, see if directly involving research scientists in teacher education will improve the uh, ability of the teachers to teach. We have um, uh, you know, great uh, collections mainly in our uh, exhibits and we can rely on our exhibits as uh, teaching tools. In this hall, for example, we have 168 samples from uh, all over the world and each one of these samples tells us something about how the earth evolved or how it worked. It's a really unique uh, thing that we have here for teaching. A really interesting aspect of the opportunity that the state offered for this uh, proposal was that these programs had to be designed in collaboration with schools in New York State. We are in close uh, connection and relationship with six schools. We have three in New York City, one in Queens, one in Manhattan, and one in the Bronx. We have two in Yonkers, and we have one in Freeport, Long Island. So those experiences will give our teachers the opportunity to do residences both in inner cities, but also in, in suburban schools. Who would have imagined that when the museum opened its doors and its first statement of its mission was to undertake research and what it was called at the time popular instruction, that that would a hundred and some odd years later translate into the museum providing a full master's program for teachers. We're looking for high performing undergraduates um, with science credits, but we're also looking for people that may be leaving research careers and looking for a second career. So many fields today, particularly ones where there actually are jobs, are science driven, whether that be in the health services, uh, in forensics, of course, in formal scientific research, and yes, in education, teachers teaching science and teaching it well.